Okay, so what do you know? I'm already back with more Halloween news after just announcing that a 2018 sequel by Danny McBride and David Gordon Green, executive produced by John Carpenter, has been officially announced. We've got a couple more details on the movie just about a day or two later. Now, I'm reading this from Slash Film, so I'll put that in the description box below. But here's a quote from Danny McBride when asked recently about the details on the next Halloween film that he will be helping write. Danny McBride says, you know, it's not a remake. It's actually, it's going to continue the story of Michael Myers in a really grounded way. And for our mythology, we're focusing mainly in the first two movies and what that sets up and then where the story can go from there. And then he goes on to say that he and Green are definitely going to do straight up horror. Halloween has always been one of my favorite movies of all time. There's a simplicity and an efficiency to that first one that I think allows the movies to just be scary as hell. And so Green and I, our approach is to get back to that. Now, these comments, I think, say a lot by saying very little. First of all, we know now that they're gonna follow the lineage of the first two films. Obviously, Halloween 2 in 1981 ends with Michael Myers pretty presumably dying in a deathly flame of a death. Uh, yeah, to sound redundant. But yeah, he looks to be pretty kaput at the end of the second movie, and then that kind of lineage really is already addressed in Halloween H20 in 1998, where they really ignore Halloween, well, three obviously, but then four, five, and six. And then Halloween H20 was really its own thing, kind of making a trilogy from Halloween one, Halloween two, and Halloween H20. So this looks to be going somewhat in that direction, but based on what Carpenter said that the pitch they gave him wowed him and floored him i'm really curious as to what we're going to see now are we going to see a period piece maybe it's going to take place in the 80s maybe it might take place in the 90s who knows but since they're building on the mythology from the first two films i'm really curious where this is going to go and i do appreciate his comments about saying they're going to do straight up horror because danny mcbride is typically known as a comedy guy if you've seen any of the movies he's in, or if you've seen Eastbound and Down, stuff like that, he really has this comedic personality to him that I think offset a lot of people when hearing his name. But with him being in the upcoming Alien Covenant, and then transitioning into this and telling us about his love for the original Halloween movie, it does make me excited because when I see Danny McBride, I don't see that frat pack type guy that we see. Like Danny McBride has always been able to somewhat separate himself from that kind of personality. Not that the other guys aren't talented, but I feel that McBride is being really genuine with his comments. And now, I've already said my reservations on David Gordon Green. Now, I think he could direct a fine film. And he could write a fine film, too. He's got some great work. But it really seems like Danny McBride here is the kind of machinations behind the psyche of the horror. And he mentions this simple element that is in the first two movies, and I completely agree. Something about the first two movies that really just floors me every time I watch it is how relatable and how real and how grounded the films are. And he uses that word grounded. So I'm really curious to see if they're going to emulate the Carpenter style or if they're going to embrace it and make it work for their own new film. Now with all the energy put into this announcement and into the excitement for the next movie and it being a year and a half away, this is going to build a lot of fun tension, if you will. And I think this is a lot of pressure on Danny McBride and David Gordon Green to undertake a revered franchise like Halloween. But hopefully, with their comments that look pretty good and with Danny McBride's transition or seeming transition into horror film, this could be a very welcomed addition, and I really hope it is. And like I said before, if John Carpenter is able to perform the score for the movie, I really hope they pay him the money he needs to do it, because if he does it, that will almost solidify this movie. But does anybody think that maybe they'll go in the direction that the original Halloween 3 went in? I mean, that would be pretty damn ballsy if they did that. I don't know if they're gonna, I think, they're really intent on bringing back Michael Myers this time. So, with that said, doesn't look like we're going to see Silver Shamrock or anything like that again. But anyway, why don't we get the discussion going right now? 
With these comments in mind, where do you think the story is going to go? And where do you think this film was going to be set? In the past, in the present, in the future? Who knows? And are you hopeful for it? So, thank you for watching, comment below, and until the next breaking news, I'll see you later.